this week on Not Your Average Fangirls. Did he have a green jacket instead of green hair? (laughs) 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 You imagined (laughs) You imagined the hair? Now I'm questioning everything. (laughs) CEO Kang Daniel adds reggaetonero to his resume. Treasure finally makes their debut after a two-year wait. And just so you know, this is our 100th episode. Thank you so much for listening and joining our chaos every week. So let's get this week started. Check it out. What's up, you guys? It is Not Your Average Fangirls here with another week of K-popness. It's your girl, Kat, and I am emotionally in distress. A lot of things happened in the K-pop world as soon as I woke up this morning, and it's just been a lot for me all day long. So, yeah. Feel it. Felix? She said, I feel it. (laughs) Uh, hey guys, it's Cynthia, and I was bamboozled. I was not. I am not getting a demon concept from Oneus, but I am getting a Shakespeare one. So you know what? You win some, you lose some. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. Exactly. I'm still enjoying the ride, y'all. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Terika. I have two announcements. If you hear like this weird, like squeaking sound, do not be alarmed. Is no it one's the trying doll? to hurt you. It's just my desk chair. I'm in a new place right now. Two, I just wanted people to know it's not like, <laughs> like you're not about to be murdered. It's literally just me moving. <laughs> Sorry. It's not the doll in your closet. It's not. Oh my God. <sighs> my second announcement is that I've thrown the whole concept of one ult out the window and I now have four. I have added another person to my ult list. I'm Whoa, stopping here and there. Interesting. <laughs> Don't come for me. Because <laughs> if I recall correctly, I Here have she been, goes. I have <laughs> been maliciously attacked multiple times. That's because, times like, that's because you old it into like group? your old bias cannot be the whole group. You can old yes, the like you can have like you can say the group is your old, but you can't be like every single member is my old bias. Like it's weird. And I'm not even talking about that. I'm also talking about the fact that you guys are like, no, you have to have one old. You can't have multiple olds. You have to have one. Look now, look at you. Now look at you with four. Look at Cynthia with two. I am what you call next level okay i was just ahead of the curve y'all just came late okay but like uh, that's like a couple compared so you to your 52 to apologize for me for all no i so said about what i said i just did in in my announcement i said i've decided to throw my previous thoughts of one old out the window that's me saying that like i was obviously wrong but i would just mm. like <laughs> to make the statement that like i'm gonna be real cheesy and there's four chambers in your heart, and I have four <laughs> men that occupy each oh chamber. Oh, my God. You guys are <sighs> fake as fuck. <laughs> I stand by what I said, so I'm just chilling. <laughs> Anyways, hello, everybody. This is Carolina, and today we are celebrating our 100th episode. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Y'all, I cannot believe we made it this far. Who would have thought? Not me. Not us. Not me. Not me. I thought after like two weeks, we'd be like, oh, y'all, I'm tired today. I don't want to record. You right. This is like the longest thing that we have ever stayed committed to. You right. Like, wow, we out here, y'all. I don't know if anyone knows, but I tried that 30 day challenge thing on our Twitter. And I think I did like three days. And I missed one day in between. I was like, this is hard. (laughs) I stopped. Girl, I tried to do that on Instagram with the stories. I did like four days. And then after that, I forgot. Same. Yeah, I was done. Yeah, I did all 30 days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Good enough. Good enough. I dipped out. <laughs> we'll go through a little bit of news. The news I do not want to talk about. Yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. Um, I just, I don't even, the words can't even come out of Hung my Hungman left because... Vix. Wow. Damn. Cold-hearted bitch. <laughs> Someone had she... to. She's like, well, rip the band-aid off. Here's what happened. <laughs> I know. I'm sad because this didn't have to happen. <laughs> 100% <laughs> did I'm not. I'm also sad that he went on Twitch. Oh, yeah. Um, an hour after it was announced. <laughs> and was very sad in the beginning. And he looked sad. And he was very apologetic. And then he was laughing like nothing happened. And giggling and joking with everyone. And I was like, why? What is this alternate universe that I'm living in? What is going on? What even happened that I woke up this morning and saw Terika screaming about it in the group chat? And then I was like, nah, this, no. <laughs> it can't be real. Like, no. 
it's just not possible. Like, Vix is six members. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and then, yeah. I can't believe it at all. Honestly, I'm shook too because just why? There was no need for him to leave. And I know that you guys said that he was like MIA for like a couple months, right? Yeah. He went ghost. Yeah. So then it begs the question is like, did the company tell him he had to leave because of the backlash? Like, no. Jellyfish wouldn't give a fuck. Jellyfish is Vix. Yeah, they all had a, a meeting about it, like, Jellyfish and, like, the other members of Vix, and, like, they said, like, in the statement, it said that after talking to him and stuff, um, that they decided to respect his wishes to, like, yeah. leave. Because they were trying to talk him out of it, but he was just, like, not having it. Aww, Which, I that's mean, so sad. I get it. Sometimes you can only take so much, and it just gets annoying, and then you just, you know, leave your group, and then you can just do whatever the hell you want, because at this point, it's, like, now... I'm no longer, like, bound to these, like, restrictions of being an idol. hmm Yeah. But the thing is, I think he left Vix, but he hasn't left Jellyfish. No, he left Jellyfish, too. Oh, he left Jellyfish? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think he's just gonna live his best life and be a gamer person, dude. Which I love for him, because he loves doing it. Mm-hmm. That's why he was doing so much Twitch streaming and stuff, mm-hmm. so. Yeah. And he's a great actor, so who knows? Yeah. yeah, that's true. I saw a lot of people saying, like, now you'll get to say just whatever you want and not care about, like, what any aunties could say and whatever. But that's still sad. Like, Vix is, like, such an iconic group. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just, like, damn. Like, nobody saw this. <laughs> yeah, no, not never, at all. Never. I would never in a million years have thought that someone was going to leave Vix. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought that the situation was, like, over. Because we were, we were just talking about this and we're like, maybe he just, like, quietly enlisted. Like, he's just like, eh, I'm just going to go. Yeah. Literally everyone was in shock. Everyone's like, mm, excuse me, what? I'm telling you, I feel like nowadays, like, the haters and entities are getting just so freaking bold because I feel like a lot of these companies just, like, submit to them. Like, oh, damn, they're saying mm-hmm. this. We gotta do whatever they ask. Instead of just, met, you know, just being like, well, you're not a fan, so whatever. And then... Not even that, but it's just, like, if it's a fan that's, like, stalkerish and whatever, then they should just be ignored and punished instead of, you know, like, oh, well, they bring money so we can't do anything. Like, that's so stupid. I'm saying, it's 2020, y'all. In this economy? No. In a pandemic? <laughs> In the middle like, of a pandemic? Mm. Like, please. Nobody got that. That's time. why I saw somebody that was just like, it's 2020, we need to make it normal for, like, idols to like date we need it to make it normal for Mm -hmm. stalkers to not be a thing like i'm just like please like these people are human beings like let them live their lives just because you decided to spend your own money buying their shit that's on you they didn't beg for you Mm -hmm. to be their fan you wanted to be their fan literally Mm -hmm. leave the idols alone (laughs) well we're talking about stalker fans one thing that did happen um nikun from 2 p.m. filed a restraining order against a stalker fan. So um, this is what we need for idols to do. Yeah. Like, I could care less if you've been there since pre-debut. If you're going to disrespect me like that, like, nah, you get out. But, like, who has the time? I just feel like stalking someone, like, not trying to make light of the situation at all because it's so serious, but I just feel like in this case, like, stalking, that takes so much time. In this and, like, economy, <laughs> right? And and energy. I just don't understand. Like, and also, I just, I just don't get the logic behind it. Like, I'm gonna like scare this person so much that eventually they'll love me. Like, what? No. no. From what I've seen, that they just want to make an impression. They don't care how or like if it's in a bad way, but they want to make an impression. But I'm like, who, who would do that? Because like, if if. The idol that I like looked at me sideways or didn't like me or something like that. That's something I would not be proud of, you know? Right. Yeah, and also it's like, yeah, you made an impression, but now you're in jail. <laughs> so, like, how's, how is that working for you? <laughs> like, I wish they were in jail. So many of them don't get punished at all. I'm glad, like, more and more idols are, like, speaking up about it and aren't, like, letting it slide. However, I think they should be punished and also, you know, instead of a witch hunt, we should just do, like, a stalker fan hunt. A stalker (laughs) fan hunt. (laughs) Throw them in the lake. Throw them in the lake. Throw them in the lake. Or throw them in a 
a, like a U.S. pit. You know what I mean? Like at a U.S. show, like how our pits are and oh, how people think right. that they could just, yeah. Oh, they just, would die. They'll cry. Yeah. And they-, they would be that like that one Joshua fan site with that girl yes. from uh, the, the, show, the yes. Seventeen show. <laughs> Or those right. pictures of, like, that fan side that was just, like, bullying, like, trying to bully people, and they, like, beat her, like, they, like, oh, fought yeah. her and made her leave, and then they, like, smashed her stool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, that was so sad. <laughs> I just don't understand. I could never. I've I've elbowed people in the face who have tried to, like, push past me and stuff with no shame. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, like, yeah. I, I wish. I wish. <laughs> Try me. I'm already hangry. I've only eaten like a half a pepperoni and two sips of water today. Do not mess with me. Oh my god. I'm Texas. Dead. You're right. Girl, that was on another level. I cannot believe we sur- we were so tired, but like the minute that concert started, it was like high energy. <laughs> oh, that was a a day, let me tell you. That was a week, bitch. <laughs> Well, they're talking about the BTS show they went to and waited in line, and they are releasing another movie called Break the Silence, the movie. I don't, I don't know. I, un- if I understand, is this like you pay and you watch it online? Like, how is this? Because it said multiple shows. No, showings. you go to a movie theater. What? You huh? go to a movie theater. And my pandemic? favorite thing about this when this, when this girl was just like, uh, they were like, a new movie. She goes, uh, does Miss Rona know? Like, does Corona know? <laughs> like, this- like yeah i was like and also it's yeah. like uh you know big hits like oh yeah we're releasing this movie and army you know armies are always like we in this bantang so and that shit for life and big hits like well prove it you re- you risk your life for bts you're gonna go oh to the movie theater to see God. this and they're only and it's only like two days showing so like <laughs> <gasps> but with the well, restrictions of the theaters like only like 15 people could be in there so like 30 people go see this movie like <laughs> i'm saying i'm away like, for i'm away for them to drop a dvd or right something big hit really thinks that the united states are on korea's level right? yeah, big hit really think we all on the level Monster of korea X right too. now they over here having a lot of faith in us i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like don't hold your breath y'all i know a lot of these k-pop acts i'm just like listen I don't know. I know you. your country might have it under control, but I mean, I know you want the USA money, but honey, Listen. at what cost? Yo, it's so funny. Byung Kwan was on uh, Live the other day and somebody was like, oh, because, you know, they have like a Korea show like towards the end of the year, like the beginning of the year. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, maybe we can uh, buy the beginning of next year when we're done with the Korea tour, like, we'll be able to go to America. And I was like, ha! ha <laughs> you <laughs> thought. Like, like, you thought. You, you could come to us in your dreams. Yeah. Even yeah. then, you gotta get sprayed down. <laughs> quarantined for two weeks. You right. Quarantine for two weeks. In the dream. You can't dream for two weeks. You just gotta stay there. Just mind empty for two weeks. <laughs> no thoughts. <laughs> no thoughts. But yeah, I don't know. It's in theaters. I just don't understand. There, are pro- there will probably be people who go and like. Oh, obviously. If you're bold enough to go, please, please illegally stream it on your phone and then <laughs> exactly. sell bootleg copies of it. Please, I, I will was buy, just about like, to say, burn, like, yeah, I will take buy it, it back to like to th- you know, like when you were like in middle school and that was like the thing at the pulgueros, like the flea market. And yeah. you would like yes. buy the f- <laughs> the movies, and you would see like the people stand up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> they hear the people laughing in the background. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> it's like a I laugh to, track. Oh my god, my cousin used to go to this place in Houston that sold those, and like <laughs> he's so happy. Oh yeah. I saw yeah. that being done once. It's crazy. He has a tripod and everything. <laughs> yeah, like no, I'm like how. How? But you know, if these fan signs, if these fan signs can get cameras up their dresses right. and stuff into these, they can do it. Someone can sneak it into the movie theater. No one's gonna care. Tommy's sixteen. He doesn't want to be there, but he needs money for the summer that didn't really happen. So <laughs> he he don't care. He said, you know what? Take your whole camera in there. I don't really care. <laughs> but yeah, and with the new wow. technology and better graphics, like they can make the like packaging look real nice now. It won't just be like. <laughs> A print, it just a be black and a, white like, print, plastic of, like, CD, the, yeah. The That's yeah. the movie's title. Oh my god, Bad Boys Two. <laughs> yeah, it. it's just a flop, like a disc, and it's spelled wrong, so it's like a typo. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> boys is spelled with a Z. Bad Boys. Two. Bad Boys. Girl, in Texas, they sold that shit in front of the gas stations. Hell like, yeah, got, they did. You'd be like, hey, you want to see the new Harry Potter movie? 
I got it right yeah. here. I got you. Got it right here. <laughs> $10. Are you at it? Buy my mixtape. <laughs> if you guys ever wonder what living in Texas is like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Ooh, Terika, that's what you should have done when you were selling your man's mixtape. <laughs> Bro, I can't bootleg movies. I have no equipment to bootleg movies. I already told you we were selling candy on the side too. <laughs> so it's like, look, like, if you like, okay, maybe you don't want his mixtape, but I'll sell you these M and M's, and then I'll just throw in the mixtape for free. <laughs> and it's like I sold the mixtape. Boom. Sadness, more sadness for me. When the Nine has released their final song before disbandment. Hmm. <laughs> it's called Count. It was a sweet, beautiful song with a sweet, beautiful music video. They were making a cake together and playing with laundry, and it was just so sweet. <laughs> playing with laundry? I yes, love Yes, they were hanging up sheets and then, like, playing in the sheets. <laughs> it was a lot, and then they were, like, hugging and, like, eating cake and, like, Aww. hugging and eating cake. And, like, looking at each other lovingly while they were singing to each other, and I was just like, this is a lot for me but it's okay they're young they still have their whole lives ahead of them and they're all gonna go to their respective groups and their companies and be super famous and wonderful but i can't wait oh that's still so sad though i know so like what what did they come from like what show i was gonna say travel agency what is it under 19 oh okay all my fellow wonderfuls we got this. We'll be okay. Y'all had a name and everything, and y'all only got two comebacks, and y'all had a whole name? <laughs> we had three, but you're right. <laughs> oh, girl, you are a joyful. You understand. Yeah. Yeah, but Terica. we had more than three comebacks. No, we had three no, comebacks. We had three comebacks. Why did that feel so long? <laughs> <laughs> because remember, I, mean, there I were... feel like we were riding for... JBJ for like ever like I feel like we had a solid at least like you know year so maybe it wasn't maybe it was like three weeks <laughs> it was one and nine have been together for two years yeah because <laughs> remember we wanted we were like petitioning for them to extend it to keep it as a thing and they were just like no they're yeah. not gonna do a, an extra thing here's the last album and I was like yeah they're just horrible horrible human beings <laughs> as I stare at my JBJ album yikes yeah Terrica's like, I moved on from that. I don't know what you mean. I did. I'm selling my signed JBJ album on Macari. Please buy it. <laughs> Dang. Wow. Wait, Dang. who's your sign by? I don't remember. Oh, my God. No, it was by, wasn't it uh, Ro Tehan? Nuh-uh. No, I have Tehan signed album. Oh. Yeah. I swear I thought I had it. I traded it. That's right. Mm-hmm. I did. <laughs> <laughs> for the one that I'm uh, for the one that I'm staring mm-hmm. at right now by Kenta. Uh, his signature is so cute. <laughs> Y'all ever notice Kenta's signature has a star and Yugiam has a star? This is wow. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, no, no one else has noticed that. Like I don't know why you thought we would know, <laughs> but like <laughs> that is <laughs> but that's sweet. She's that like, I've so connected cute. all the dots. <laughs> <laughs> he's, she's like that one meme with the with the with the red string yes oh my god it's because i just stared at them and they both have a star that's so cute um, anyways more news island there was an episode today but it wasn't new it was a special it was just like a rundown yeah. of them basically yeah. it was um, a reaction and also member profiles yeah like- Member profiles, they told us things we already knew. Yeah. They told us everything that you can find on the website that you probably looked at already when you voted. Thank you. Exactly. Yes, wow. literally. And also, I have a bone to pick that if they weren't going to show the new episode this week, that means we could have had more time to vote for the boys we wanted yeah, in to the group yeah like not one day because we literally had one solid day to vote and they were like all your votes will count as three i'm like okay so daniel only gets three votes for me like what does that do for him nothing (laughs) but also my other bone to pick out of all the idols not that i don't i like namju from a pink but out of all the idols they could have picked to be on this panel to talk about these boys why the ones that they picked i'm confused like who was the other girl they're the only ones that were available Right. There was someone from A Pink. There was someone yeah. from Momo Land. Okay, that girl. Momo that Land. one. That girl. I have yeah, a bunch of pick with her. Ma'am, why are her. you talking shit about Nikki? Meet me in the parking lot at four o'clock. Thank you. <laughs> because, I mean, everybody else was booked and busy. He could have just been like, Hi, BTS. You know that I'm your CEO. Yes, come here. Thank you. <laughs> Give me feedback. Oh, but BT, they got a whole episode coming up, so they yeah, don't care. JK. JK. Yeah, that's next They're week. Already doing Woo! That. 
Yep, they got a whole episode coming up, so I'm really excited. I can't wait. And I'm just like, you know, y'all oh could have like told us ahead of time that this was gonna be a special episode and not an actual episode. But no, they told us the day before, and I said <laughs> In the trailer. It's Eminem. Yeah, with the trailer <laughs> release. They didn't even say they anything. Like, They're just like, here. But then I also thought it was going to be like super cute, like a behind the scenes things that we right. had to see. More of the boys' relationship yeah. and like how they work together. But not, no. Like, the same no. fucking thing. It was like a long yeah. reaction for the first half. And Here's then the Wikipedia. The rest. Yeah. Yep. It was literally, it was just like a rundown. Mm -hmm. And like they skipped all, most of the good parts. They skipped most of the good shit. <laughs> and they just like reacted to the performances and like the boys relationships and stuff like that and pass judgment on the boys that they don't even know thank you sorry the cams thing on the app though like the so if you didn't know on weavers you can watch like cams yeah, that they have the in their cams. house or whatever not 24 7 but like obviously it's not like big brother but <laughs> it's um <laughs> like uh cameras that they have set up in the house for like specific rooms and like the kitchen and all that so you can like see them doing random shit yeah like specific times of the day yeah they, they have and they on. uh new ones get released like i think every week or something anyway we get more show time for them watching that than like the actual show <laughs> yeah like i just watched an hour of a, and a half of he sung and jung won throwing crunched up paper into a trash can and it was entertaining like why couldn't you show me that i watched that for an hour and a half like hoping i was like oh is he gonna get oh Ooh, damn Kobe. so close <laughs> oh my god or when jay was chasing uh when no he was like running around in the hallway after he was like trying to hide from like the other people he was like oh i'm gonna yes. hide in the laundry room and he like ran in the room and then like was hiding behind like the washing machine like show me that <laughs> yeah truly like show me all these things the non-island stand out here <laughs> that song is a bop i don't know what you're talking about you're right then maybe you should watch the show anyway moving on we're gonna talk about comebacks you're right yes <laughs> um daniel Ooh. is a, reggaetonero. a secret latino man <laughs> that's all i got i say. guess so i was like oh okay he's a reggaetonero he said we dropping these beats right now and we shaking our ass while at it and we in a le in a denim jacket with no shirt under it and i said you know it's beautiful i hate the beach but suddenly sand sounds real nice <laughs> when i was looking at him you know what's funny yeah. when he had that the sand like come like like he tried to beat that britney spears thing with the water yeah I was just like, Daniel, you're going to find sand in places you didn't even know existed. That's what me and Cynthia was saying. I was like, suddenly I don't hate the beach. Because he was looking <laughs> fine. It, was it like, flashed mm. me back to EDC. Wow, all the times I'm we've so been. I'm so uncomfortable right now. Oh my God, EDC. Fine. Yeah, girl, remember, remember the sand? Yes. Why don't you do me a favor and shut up, okay? Let me talk about Daniel. <laughs> I'm just letting it happen. I'm just like, ew. Listen, he's fine. And when he said, why can't you just, why can't you just have some fun with me? I said, sir, when and where? Bring on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> say the word. Say, yeah. Jiho, girl, I am so sorry. But in a heartbeat. <laughs> in a heartbeat. He could, mm, in a heartbeat. Boom. He'd be like, do you want a yes right now? I was going to ask if you want to open the door. Um, oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I'll open the door for you. Honestly, I love this type of just, yes. Like, this whole album is magical, too. Like, the whole album is really, really good. And I saw a comment, and I always forget to freaking, like, write down who they were. So, sorry, at commenter. Uh, but they said it was se sexy Indiana Jones, and I was just like, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, stop. Stop, don't do it to him like that but <laughs> but i was with it i love the sound like i said he's like a, re a whole reggaetonero now and he was just out there i like the the strong manly look and i was like yeah i was like okay that's what had me the most like he tried to keep his face like like his yeah girl face the whole time <laughs> and i'm just like stop you're so squishy i can't but see that's the good thing he can be squishy but also he can be that he can be Haley. Mama, mama let me whisper in your ear. My mom loves him. But I, lo I again, I love this vibe for him. I'm like so happy he's doing things like this. And I think it's like a good contrast is this song versus Waves. Like it still has like that same type of, you know, like that reggaeton, like beat, like tum -tum -tum type thing. But it's like 
I feel like in Waves, it was way sexier. And this was just like more like a manly like type of like, it's still sexy, but you know what I mean? Like, I, just, I feel you. I would love to have been in that board meeting where CEO Kong Daniel was looking <laughs> oh, at God. artist Kong I Daniel. Know, <laughs> I just love that he's a CEO. It's hot. <laughs> you Damn. Bet. So CEO King Daniel, what do we want to do for this comeback? Well, artist King Daniel. Latin. Let me tell you. Love that. <laughs> Producer Kong Daniel, get on that. Songwriter Kong Daniel, you good? Okay, ready? Break. <laughs> but I feel like now since, you know, he's in a relationship, she's probably be like, he's like, hmm, CEO Kong Daniel, what should I do? She's no, you're going to do Latin. That's right. <laughs> you're right, CEO Kong Daniel. That's still Latin. <laughs> And honestly, I did read, though, that, like, his album sold a million copies. And I'm just well, like, his fandom is so quiet. Like, <laughs> I would have yeah. never. Yo, Danities are so low-key. Yeah. They just don't give a fuck. Like, so they just are. ride for him and that's it. Dude, they just move in silence. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, like, one day I saw one ad for Daniel, like, in the subway. And I was like, oh, how cute. And then, like, we went shopping and came back. And there was a whole, like, museum in the same <laughs> station. I was like, Why when did, did this what yeah, I was like, <laughs> okay but no there's a whole like corner of twitter a stan twitter that's danities i follow a few of them yeah they just quiet they just supporting him buying his shit liking the video streaming shit yeah. streaming on it. melon they just low-key as it should be because he's also very like chill like when he did the the, yeah. the show thing like he you know so it works out, but I feel like this is the same, like how when he was in, when produced and he all of a sudden it was just like, oh yeah, look at the kid with the pink hair. And then I logged into Twitter the next day and it was like everything Kang Daniel. I, wa- I wasn't even yep. watching the, the show at that time, but I knew who he was and same. I was just like, what happened? He was. Yeah. It's just like, what happened in like 24 hours? Like Danities literally sell out everything he does. Like jewelry lines. He did like a jewelry line with someone. They sold it out. He did like. When he was uh, the n- beer commercial or the cider, or whatever, oh, yeah. like Pepsi sales went up when him and Zico did the song together. It's like crazy. And also, I just don't think they give a fuck. They're like, oh, well, I mean, he's dating someone like <laughs> he's the what- CEO. Like, oh, well, like whatever. Here's my money. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Take it. I'm going to love you from afar. <laughs> uh, for our next comeback, we have one team. They came back with. I'm trying. Hold on. I will pay anyone 50 cents who knows how to say this. <laughs> they said it in the thing and I practiced, but I forgot. Hold uh, on. Ulaleli kolaleli. Ulaleli <laughs> <laughs> kolaleli. I did. I practiced because they were singing it and I was vibing to it. And I'm like, oh, they're saying the freaking name. And now I just went right out the window. Damn, I just lost 50 cents. <laughs> You know what I could do with 50 cents? <laughs> what? what can you do with Buy two pieces cents? of gum. I could put another 50 cents together and I can mail a photo card that I'm selling on Macari. Please buy my things. <laughs> <laughs> Tarek has a walking ad. Oh my God. Can that. Macari sponsor us? Like, that'd be great. <laughs> That would be great. Ooh, la, 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 co, la, I, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna hold on. Play the song. I'm gonna play the song. I think it's Ula Lili Kola Lili. It's something like that. And I was just like, okay. Yeah. Honestly, all right, I freaking need to get more into one team because they just look like such I a love mess. Them. They're so funny. And so this funny. gave me massive block B vibes. Yes. And I was so I'm about it. it. I was just like, oh my god. They're so funny. Like the the comical like aspect of the video, the comical, like even just like the word and things like that. And, like, the sound, like, it's so energetic, like, that Rocky sound. And then I read that that word, it's a catchphrase that, like, you know how here we do, like, dun, dun, kissing in the tree, Ke-, you know, like, whatever. Yeah. That song? What? Oh. <laughs> I, I don't remember what the song kissing in the tree. You don't know that, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> the one song's, like, teasing somebody, just like, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Yeah. I, yes, yeah. we know what you're talking Thank about. You. We're just I did, at Thank first, because I was thinking, when you Thank said you. catchphrase, I was thinking, like, of, like, an ad. And I was like, oh, but then you said, in the tree. And I was like, wait, oh, okay. <laughs> I got it. It just took a I, minute, but I, I got it. I vaguely remember it, so I was like, maybe I did it, like, I said it wrong. But anyways... <laughs> Um, that's what it is. But in Korea, that's what they do. Like, 
that's how the kids like make fun of each other when like two other like each other. So that's what they're saying. And I was just like, of course, like this makes more sense. Because when this started, I was like, what the fuck is going on? I was just so I just loved this video so much, especially the part where Ji Hyun like it gets all red around him, like he's a de- uh, like a demon, and I was just like, wow, I yeah. love this. <laughs> it's like this is incredible. I like the uh, part where they're like playing that game from like Fat Albert. I don't know what it's called. Where they like jump on each other's backs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, flying through the air. Like, like, what? <laughs> with the fireworks in the background and everything where he's like yeah. jumping like so dramatic bro this music video was so funny it was so funny it's so funny it was so cute done right cute done right she said cute, cute done, done right. right if all videos were cute like this i would enjoy cute concepts all i gotta like the only bone to pick i have in this whole video is why they had to start out the video with ruben's feet just oh my god, that was just I like, not that like was me. very unnecessary. Like, I just. <laughs> Terika failed big I was to just me. just like, why? I hated it every second was like, of it. Why? Okay, but the scene that they were like running, quote unquote, yo, I was dying. <laughs> I was dying. Dying. That shit was so funny. And even the lyrics, it's so funny. They're just like, they said, your misfortune is my happiness. And I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah. It was really good. I really enjoyed this like fun side of them because usually they're all just like you know. Honestly, cool and even and, like... play like when they played at the beginning when Vibe played, I was just like, oh, that's such a good song too. Like that's such a good song. Yeah, I love them. One team is so good. It was this was just really fun. I love uh, yeah same. I was again. It was like that shock factor and the sense of like how funny the music video was, and I was just confused about what the hell the word. Uleli Kalaleli even man. I was just like, are they just saying gibberish? Like, what's going on? And then the music video was a mess. And I was just like, this is great. They make me feel the same way and flying does. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It's the same vibe. It's the same vibe. Literally. Yeah. I feel it. But without the instruments, I feel it. They're just like nerdy, dorky, like over the top. <laughs> like, <laughs> stupid. And it's great. They got a whole Texan in the group. What do I expect? Heck yeah, they do. BC. Uh, this was good, but yeah, I'm like again, I need to get more into them. Like they just look yes, like such it. they're such so a great group. Like I, I need to stand, need to stand. And they all fine, they all fine. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm trying to like look around because you know I can't, I can't add another ninety five. It's liner. gonna be Ruben. It's gonna be Ruben. Yeah. I, I also like that one with the hair that has like. Two different colors. Oh, like the one too. with the hair and the face? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Take a shop. <laughs> uh, no, I'm looking at both of them. Like, they both catch my attention. So, you know, stay tuned. Place your bets now. It's Ruben. Ruben. <laughs> uh, moving on. <laughs> Uh, moving on. Oh my God. I've waited two years for this moment, everybody. Ta-da. Wait, did you watch it already? Jesus. No, I didn't watch it. Okay. It's good. I listened to it though. I it's listened good. to it though. Mm-hmm. It's I've been good. waiting two years for this moment. God's gates have opened up and they led me oh. down a silvery path to my sons of treasure. It's the Anyaseo get kid in there. Yes. Uh, I knew it. <laughs> oh my god, is he? Which yeah. Is he? Yes. Jun Q. I he don't know he made that. it. I didn't watch the show. Me neither. Yes. But I but I I saw him and I was like, he looks he's the he's the kid. But I was just like, but hold on, because I might just be thinking that he's the kid, but he's not the kid. He is the Did kid. you watch the music video, Carolina? <laughs> yes, it's amazing. Which I know yeah. Which one is he? Do you remember? No. <laughs> but okay, I know he's in there. You want me to send you a picture of him? <laughs> I mean, I guess. I knew it. Anyway. <laughs> the little green haired rapper guy. He's so yeah. good. I like him. Don't know his name, but Girl, he's great. That's the guy that I was looking at. I was like, his vibe is so strong. I was like, yes. Green haired. I did not watch the music video. So be more specific. Is he tall? Is he small? Is Girl. he. Um, <laughs> he's a We're boy. We're describing him by his hair. That's all we know. Yeah, he's a boy and he got green hair. That's all I got for you. He had a hat on. That's all I got. I don't know. Let me look. And then the one with the um the headband and the black and red. He yeah. Was... Again, that gives me. <laughs> there was one. There was one with the pink hair. He looks so cute. In his. If you want to like screenshot them and send it to me, I can give you more information on who they are. <laughs> 
Anyway, but I was listening to the song because, of course, they're my children. And also, you guys should listen to their other song, The Beach Side, because it's great. But anyway, Yoshi, my boy, I love him. Anyway, he touched my heart. His vocals, amazing. Haruto, amazing. Love that kid. Love Japan Line, incredible. Woo. Yenam, of course, vocals. Junkyu, just m- my son. Like, everything perfect about him. It's just uh, funny. I love that kid. And I don't know anything about him. I said the Anyaseo meme. And that's just, that's, that's enough. Like, that's all I need. That's all I need. There's a Do Young? He kind of looks like me. Yeah, there's a Do Young. Yes, there's a Do Young. He's a baby. He my baby. I love yeah, him. he's adorable. Oh, they're so cute. I really like this song. And the music video is really cool, Kat. You're going to love it when you watch it. Like I'm sure I will. I will love anything that they do. You're right. <laughs> so, but it's, it's right. really cute though because in the, even in the lyrics like you can feel like you know that weight that they had to do not only them but the fans and everybody because the yeah. lyrics is mm. like you know that they want to they want to be your boy and like please open your heart for them oh, type of thing yeah. and they're so cute and, and and at the end there's chance oh man i was living my best life listening I to love this. it's such a good song it's such a good song so i'm excited about the music video and i just can't wait to see my boys in their elements especially yoshi and jun q my my face anyway. it was good i enjoyed it i was like oh, okay i get it like the hype was it. real though like twitter yeah, like it. was heated for this like they were waiting i mean i will just like to say did you guys hear haruto he was a deep voice rapper love him that is yes, my yeah. child that's the one that i needed to ask questions about uh no he is 15 <laughs> because um i still needed to ask questions like this exactly how old was he <laughs> where was he <laughs> because yes. i love his 15 voice. and he's japanese <laughs> Aren't they all like children? Yeah, I think they yes, are. Yes, they're all. Most of them are babies. Yeah. Most of them are under the age of eighteen. Adorable. Um, but yes, Haruto is also my son. He is six foot, and he's only fifteen years old. That's so, I wild. Mean, I mean, it'd be like that. <laughs> <laughs> And Hyun Suk, oh, and Jae Hyuk, oh, and Jung Woo, oh my god, I just love them so much. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're just here, just like, uh huh. Tell us more. Yeah, because I don't know any. Yeah. Don't know any of these people. <laughs> In the words of Kiki Palmer, I'm sorry, man. I don't know. <laughs> That's how I feel about like eighty percent of the time. Y'all be sending pictures and stuff, or sending things in the group chat, and I said. I don't know who this man is. <laughs> I want to know who y'all are talking about. Green haired rapper now. Hold I on. think he had green hair. Maybe he did have green no, hair. No, I know, wrote I he had green hair. Here, let me find. Okay, him. cool. Y'all not be making up stuff. It could very well be purple. <laughs> Somebody was funny and they were like, "I can't wait for Treasure to release a song called ATs." I wanted to fight. I, I saw that. <laughs> that shit was funny. I cannot. I, also I was laugh. like. Anyway, but yes, everyone stand stand treasure. They deserve everything in the world. Let's move on then to our next comment. We have Taman. He came out Damn with it. two kids. It's not his actual comeback, but it's his pre-release. And honestly, while watching this video, I said, oh, to be Taman, just dancing around the streets, just not rolling around the dirt like he was. Like, who, who, why, why are you doing that? Yeah, I heard that the whole thing was a freestyle. I don't know if that's accurate, but I believe it. I believe it. He was rolling in the ground like, like, I'm like, boy, there's coronavirus out there. It was not, like, it was not what I expected. I Same. did not think it was like, I was like, oh. Like, I had been crying to edits with this song on it for, like, four days before I, like, watched it. And I was like, oh, my God, this is the song. And I <laughs> yeah, just did girl. not make the connection. <laughs> I don't know, things. I, was like, I wasn't, oh I wasn't, I wasn't expecting the sound for Taven either. Like, I, I watched it with the music, like, I heard it with the music video. And mm-hmm. Same. I was just not expecting that because of the past stuff that he's done. So I was just like ready to be like move mm-hmm. 2.0 type of thing. And then he gave us a sad bop. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's a sweet song, but it's sad. But you know, love, young love is sweet and sad. I thought the song would be a beautiful duet between him and Ten. I thought this was a missed oh. opportunity for us. Oh. oh my God, Ten is so hot. You're right. Sorry. You're right. No, it's true. It's true. Tara God, drop the facts. God, yeah, it's true. Just it's thinking true. of him with his paint all on his face. And oh like, my mm, God, bless up. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Listen, That's he cute. looks so good. That video was so artistic. Like Ten just looks so good. It was just like oh, it encaptured him so well. 
We're talking about Taman. We're not talking about Ted. We're talking about Taman. We're talking about Taman. <laughs> She's like, anyway, Honestly, ten. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> we jumped. We jumped. Um, Carolina said, "Now that we bought up ten, let me tell you about everything that he's done is beautiful <laughs> and magical, and no one could ever compete to and compare to him ever in life." Okay. Oh my god. Honestly, like I'm telling you, when they did Super M and they put like all these people, like they were just like, "This is catered to Carolina." I was like, "You right." It's like how Terika finds a way to talk about NCT in every situation where she's just <laughs> like, oh, you guys said 127 uh, is the phone number. Well, let me show you this 10 page essay about NCT 127 that I did not preemptively make <laughs> I for mean, this time. Since we're on the subject, <laughs> Tin did say that he wants to do he wants to work with Hedgehead. And I think that would just be a beautiful thing that should also happen. Thank you. It's true. Honestly, he also said he wanted to work with Johnny again. I said, well, not he again. did. I would combust. <laughs> I don't need that in my life. <laughs> I would. Yes. I'm here for this. Anyways. Anyway, we love Taman. Taman was great. <laughs> we love Taman. He's talented. He's beautiful. The Supreme. He's a legend. He's, He's debuted in every generation of K-pop. Like I've said for the first one, but second yeah. gen, boom, shiny. Third Dim. gen, solo. Dim. And Dim. shiny. Dim. Fourth Dim. gen, for. <laughs> Fourth yen. Anyways, what are Fourth we gen super M. Fourth gen <laughs> super M. And shiny. Shiny's still out there. <laughs> I'm telling you. Shiny's still out here. Shiny's they about old, to be back. but they out here. They old. <laughs> they old, but they out here. They still Shiny's doing it. Back. Oh my gosh, like that tweet that was just like, did y'all ever think about that Minho just be jumping about out of planes like on the daily? And I'm like, yeah. damn, you're literally. Right. Yeah, I he's literally retweeted fucking... that because I was just like, yeah, wow. Amazing. And he's on the whole ass soccer team for the Marines. <laughs> <He laughs> <is. laughs> Iconic. They really call Tachyon Captain Korea when there's a whole Choi Minho. Can't believe it. <laughs> you are correct in that statement. Can you just be, can you just imagine just They're being both like man to so. him? And he's just like coming home, just smelling like man. And he's oh, just like, I would love it. Like just smelling like air and dirt and oh, soccer what? balls. I don't know. <laughs> and sweat. And sweat. You know what would be the hottest is when he like comes back from mowing the lawn. And you're just like, wow. I think like Minho is like officially everyone's man. Like everyone loves Minho in some type of way. Again, it's like that meme of him walking like, ah, ooh. Just not. He's not so cute. cute. He's my longest bias. He was my I first bias ever. I mean, Minho fine as hell. Like yeah. he. Right well, back in the day, he looked like a mop, but he was still like amazing. <laughs> but we still fell for him, so it I know matter, we still so. fell for him. Anyway, Taman was great. The next comeback we're gonna talk. About. <laughs> we love Taman. We really do love Taman. I know like, he's the just, supreme. We just yeah, we just have short attention. Like space. I saw him perform Danger and I like cried. So oh my god, I did too. And he there's that. And he might have a flat booty, but he still throws it around. Ay. He does. He has the best. Throw that booty ass one. in the circle. Ay. 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 So G Idol came back with Dum Dee Dum Dee. And this was a completely un- okay. Well, first of all, they, they that that wild wild west aesthetic is still a go in K-pop. I don't know where it came from. Me neither. I don't know where it came from either. I don't know what movie they started watching, but <laughs> it came and died after SF9. So I don't know why anyone's still trying. <laughs> oh my god, that was like <laughs> you right. It's still a thing. But they're doing it. But this was a whole different side of G Idol because yeah. Like, this was way cuter. Like, it's a different music A different style. side than their urban side? Yeah, it's not It's you not know. urban chic or whatever it was. Urban hip. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, like fun, it it's like fun summertime. I am having fun with my girls type of song. And the one old white man. Well, there's a random, yeah, white man in the video. But, yeah. <laughs> they needed him for the aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> for the Wawa West concept. <laughs> they needed him. <laughs> But yeah, but it's it's just brighter than what they've done before. Yeah. So I really liked it. The song is really fun. It's just catchy. Like it's it's good. It's like a good summer song. Yeah, I thought it was catchy and fun too, but a whole bunch of people hated it. They're like, it's not good. And I was like, oh, well, <laughs> I thought it was fun. I'm not saying it's like Grammy worthy, but it's a fun song. It's just funny then because like for past, like some past stuff, I'm just like, we haven't been too fond of them. Mm-hmm. Have we? That's a lie. I think I've liked. Their Wait, stuff. with G Idol? No, because we liked uh, what was it, Lion or something? That's right. I like Lion. Yeah. I like Latata. Yeah, Latata. I like their music. You know what? I feel like yeah. Now that I'm thinking back, I'm just like, why did I think that I didn't like something they did? I'm just like, wait. 
I love Senorita. Senorita. But I love that. I love this vibe for them. Was, you know, it was just fun and like outgoing. And they had a whole phone party in the middle of a diner. I was just like, wow. Like, yeah. Reminded me of college. <laughs> They were washing clothes and she put too much. She's like, oopsie, I put too much detergent. <laughs> I'm washing me and my clothes. <laughs> Shut up. I'm washing me and my clothes, bitch. I'm washing me and my clothes. I'm just waiting for someone to take like the Southern theme further and just do like a whole Texas football theme. Like, got seven right. and quiet to the collab and do like a whole football cheerleader Just the whole hook them. Yeah, the whole hook em horns. Oh like God. the burnt orange. Ew, boo. Boomer. Sorry. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I was just like, what? Then I Sorry, remembered. Like, don't, I don't worry about it, y'all. Me and Terika just have our little unspoken rivalry. It's fine. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. But yeah, I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. And the hot one has a short haircut and she's hot. So there's that. Right? Ooh, Sujin. Love her. She is so hot. Love her. So we will end off this episode with our songs of the week. Uh, my song of the week this week is AT's Inception. I have been listening to nothing but that album You're right. on repeat continuously every day, all the time. Thank you. <laughs> that's it. She drops mic. Well, that's it. <laughs> AT's, that's it. Nothing else. AT's. 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 Okay. okay um my song of the week is <clears throat> also by 80s i'm sorry but i'm not like this album is so hey. good y'all to the beat to the beat, right. um, to the beat. is actually thanks but that is still also on repeat after that too, yes ah yes. Uh, yes it is truly truly iconic and for my one song of the week, it is Twilight. I started listening to that again. I know I like I keep going back to like the same rotation, but I can't help it, y'all. Like there's just some songs that I'm just like, I need to repeat this song every day. <laughs> like you're just that. attached to them. It makes sense. It makes sense. You're right. Thank you. Thank you for supporting me. <laughs> and uh my song of the week is not ATs. It's um Fake. Chanil again. I've been bopping to his like his music's just so chill. And You're like right. unfortunately I don't know the name of the song because it's in Korean and I just didn't have the time to try to practice my Hangul and figure out what it said. But <laughs> it's on <laughs> but it's track number four <laughs> on his positive <laughs> melody summer edition EP. You should check it out. It's great. Um, my <laughs> my NCT song of the week is Trigger the Fever. Um, someone posted about oh. people like not liking that song, and Kinsey tagged me in it, and I was just like, I had to ride because that is my jam. Love that song. Love that song. And then so made an edit with Hee Chan and how he starts it off, and it's just like every single time he starts off the song, and I was just like, I love this song. So yeah, <laughs> and I just listened to it. Having a mental breakdown while jamming. We love all that. the time. All the time. Um, for my for my songs of the week, I've also been jamming to AT's Inception. That song is a bop. And I've also been listening to this uh, group called We Are The Night. They have a song called Dreamcatcher. It is beautiful and so good. Everybody go listen to that. Check them out. If y'all have been listening to the podcast, y'all know my vibe. So it's the same type of vibe here. We Are The Night. And it'll be on our playlist that we post every week with our episode. Hey. And it's linked. So in if there's all of our a We Are the Night, is there a We Are the Day? You know what? I don't know, Kat. There might be. Is there alter there ego? Be. Like a like a we like a we a situation? Dun, we dun, are the dun, night. We are the imagine. Day. But in the in the indie band alternative world. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Herbie W ready to sue us. I'm sorry, sue them. <laughs> Uh, that was our episode for the day. Thank you guys so much for being with us for 100 episodes. Woo! Yes! Woo! I can't believe we've done it. We made it this far. Um, but yes, make sure you check out our channels, our social medias, because we're going to be posting a lot of awesome content. And if you're here, you're watching this episode, you are probably looking at your screen like, oh my God, they have a new podcast graphic. So, Yay! Uh, we yes. do! We for do have one, around. finally! <laughs> But we do want to give a big, big shout out to Cloud. Um, she reached out to us and thanks to her, we have this beautiful new graphic and logo and Yay. all that stuff. So thank you so much. If yes. you guys are looking for new logo designs or anything like that, commissions, let us know and we'll hook you guys up with her. Um, also, shout out to Carolina's sister Raquel for making us cartoons. Yay. 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 Oh, God. 
We will be linking my sister's Raquel um, art, Instagram, and social media. So if you guys want to commission anything or do you want to check yes, her stuff out. Yes, commission Carolina's sister. Yes. And boy, her. She Challenge is out. great. She needs to buy some more BTS merch, y'all. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's true yeah, that's true and if you're wondering why we're not linking clouds information it's because she requested that so if you would like to commission her then we do have her um, contact information and we will be able to pass that along yes okay. so thank you thank you everybody really thank you so much listening <laughs> and for <laughs> even sending a tweet or anything like that it's insane that we've been doing this for a hundred episodes and I know it's it's fun it's tired some but we do it and Mm -hmm. we enjoy it and again thank you for listening even if you only heard two episodes and then you forgot about it and now you're just like oh they're back and like yeah that's that's fine (laughs) we appreciate you still okay and if you ever like tweet us or anything at all know that we a hundred percent are talking about you in our group chat and googling we're like oh my god look (laughs) yeah we said no right oh my gosh she's so cute thank you so much and then we then we like oh my god send a bunch of like little heart emojis and everything and we're like oh my god i can't believe this is happening <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we appreciate everything so thank you Woo! Uh, but yes yeah, so whether you are new to our podcast or not thank you so much for everything make sure you always always finger finger along. Along.